It's a very special day today. Why, because it's Chinese New Year? No, because of what's behind Chinese New Year. Look at this, look at this. Look, look. You mean these tires, right? They're different colors. And it's a garbage can. No, that's not it, keep oh. going. Come on, come on. We made it, right? It's Gloria. I love you, Gloria. I always have. Gloria! But that's not it, let's go. <laughs> I got it, this heart ring. No, it's Walmart. They have Walmart in China? <laughs> Welcome everyone to Walmart in China. Once we found out they have Walmart in China and we found out very recently, we had to check it out. Walmart is like a discount grocery store in the US, so we're gonna be comparing a lot of the prices, showing you what things cost in China. Grocery store, you mean super center? Walmart super center. They pretty much have everything, from food to electronics to bikes, guns. In the, in the US, they have literally everything at Walmart. You don't need anything else. What do they have in frack in China? So if you see here, a nice pair of jeans is 80 RMB. Novelty tees? The designs they have are much more unique than you'd find in a Walmart in the U.S. I don't know what this means, but T-I double G-U-R. Reality, dude. That's all it means. T and then? T-G-G-U-R. Tigger. Oh, I see, it is Tigger. The material is really interesting. It's like a pillowcase. A stretchy pillowcase. That doesn't stretch it that much, but a little bit. And the pants are just kind of like windbreaker material. It's a little different. 150 for a jacket? You can get a jacket for like 20 bucks here. Autumn. This totally has a lot to do with autumn. Focus, focus on your. Be positive. <laughs> you can minimize it. You can minimize it too if you don't want to be positive. That's today. pretty cool. Shoes are running you a pretty decent price. I mean, 99 or 120, that's pretty dang cheap for shoes. You can shop your favorite brand such as Crocodile. That is my favorite brand. Fashion Air. Supomi? Supoim? <laughs> oh. T Sports. Gorpo. It's the same font. Wow. Belt for only 39? Children will never misbehave now. What the heck did you just say? This one might be better. Leather. That makes the mark on the skin. Yeah, it's they're really tight around the edges. Yeah. And when you put them on children, they just like to behave. Yeah. Or you could just get this. <laughs> What a steal. This is a sick Nerf gun. It's a straight up AUG, and it comes with a fracking helmet. Now this is that big. This is 149 too, that's so cheap. This would be like 60 bucks. At least, and this is a nice, just over 20 bucks here. Oh man, I love Legos. Hold on a second. Sembo block. The price of this, this is 371 pieces. It's pretty big, I mean look at this fracking thing, that's huge. And it's only 110. Nice. In the US, that'd be like $100. Easily. Now look at that fat daddy thing. But it would also be Star Wars themed, so they could charge an extra uh, 300%. The premium. This is a dollar. Nice. Every kind of ball you can think of, very affordable. What do you have there, sir? I got a bendy boy. They got safety straps on there, but I don't need those. So strong, dude. It's There's a lot of tension in there. Like it just be it flung just... in some direction. It was just hidden in here. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it was just I don't shoved know what the in there. Is, but That's... it's it... cool they have it. That was there. You buy microscopes and telescopes. That's pretty freaking epic. Like a pretty dang big one. This one doesn't have the price on it, but this one. National Geographic too. Authentic, I believe. Five hundred. Look at that. You can see me. A possibly huge box of Oreos or a big tin of Oreos. Are you kidding me? That's insane. These are filled with bean paste. All the bread section over here. These are really low price. Most of the stuff you can get for a dollar or less. It's not that much bread, but it's pretty cheap here and they have a lot of variety. They have freshly bacon stuff in there. They have egg tarts over there, which is a very uh, Cantonese dessert. Fresh baked bakery goods in Walmart? I think they have that in the US Walmart too. Pepsi, 50 cents for a bottle. That's actually crazy. Pepsi is super cheap in China, super cheap. Fanta, same price. Whoa, new kind of Fanta, coconut. 
Time to get it. The Chinese like candied meats and seasoned dry meats all over here. Some dried sort of fish or lobster or shrimp or something. All of these different pastry things. Wow, look at this stuff. It's like cook at home biscuits or something or do you just eat those up? Some gyoza. Dumpers. Flat oh, wow, frackers, meatballs, they have meat. freshly cooked meats. Hot dogs. They don't have these things in Walmarts anymore. Some they have, squabs. They have some squabs. They've never had squabs Ooh, in Walmart. So wow. cheap too. Wow, that's really good. Eggs, $26.99. I know eggs in the US are expensive now. I haven't been there in two years, but I heard. Wow, these are some cheap taters. This is so much cheaper than in the Philippines. What the heck? This is 30 cents of potatoes. Uh, right here we have uh, 60 cents of potatoes. In the Philippines, this would be like 180 pesos, which is like over $3. Those are some big onions, my gosh. Holy nuts, I thought the American onions were big. Is China going genetically modified with some of these frackers? Look at these carrots, this is insane. It gets extra flavor in there. I'm buying this right now. Produce is so cheap. We haven't bought many vegetables in the US before, but I'm assuming this is so much cheaper. And now, massive. this is the biggest eggplant I've ever seen in my life. My gosh. I feel like the expectations are a lot higher now. It's like average, right? Yeah. I think that's the opposite of the joke you're supposed to do. <laughs> oh, well, if you want a lot of interesting things at Walmart, other than sugary snacks and salty chips like in the US, come to China. We were really curious if there's gonna be a lot of American items here and there's like literally, literally none. Other than Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting to note too, the ceilings aren't insanely high like a McDonald's, McDonald's Walmart in the US. It's not like a warehouse, it's like a grocery store in a mall. Yes, it's very tight, windy, but there's massive. Big tomatoes. For 60 cents. Giant kiwis. Whoa, the kiwis are expensive or? Oh, the box is 168, I guess. Those are so big. 10? These are 10? These are $2 each in the Philippines. There's a lot more dried food in China than in the US, that's for sure. Do you want a big lemon, sir? Holy nuts, that's as big as your fracking head. Oh, it's a grapefruit. That I makes more sense. I don't know what grapefruits look like. Here's the mandarin oranges. It's like the picture, they have the leaf. They're very small. Someone got a little snacky. Oh. Someone who's like, I can't resist these mandarin oranges. We gotta get some mandarin oranges, right? And eat them on the street. 6.28 for 500 grams. That's pretty good. I'm just looking for the orangest ones. It smells like an orange. Interesting. Oh, you have the like chickpeas and rice and bean section. 500 grams of rice for four. Not too shabby. Oh, they have Japanese rice. Oh, they got everything. Hey, that looks like an orange. That was easy. Oh, this is not working well. As you can see, a lot of the stuff here is a lot of the more healthy things. A lot less sugary snacks. Chocolate section. Seems like the M&M's come in very small packaging. Like I said, it's healthy. They don't have any like abnormally large. This is just like fun size packets. They don't have any like massive kilo bags or anything. There's like the tiniest bag of Skittles at a convenience store here. It literally had nine total Skittles in it. They're all about health here. Look at this. The biggest Snickers you can find, but turn around here, the nuts. That's a big case of nuts. Holy nuts. Their frozen section is mostly like sausages and noodles and such, not pizza rolls and frozen pizzas and stuff. What? Oh, I thought those were pizza rolls for a second. I got excited. This is the dessert section. Oh no, they're still sandwiches. Wow. Some more dessert stuff in here. Kind of mochi stuff. Some cow balls. I do have some like chicken, popcorn chicken there, but that's about the only American style thing you can see. Oh, they even have these buns. Oh, these are really good and they have those here. But that's a squid inside. With a flower? Or an onion? Squid and onion? Oh, we got some lasagna. Roast chicken puff. Wow, so they have like two sections of TV dinners and pizza, whereas there would be entire aisles of frozen pizza in the US. Your typical ice creams, yummy. 
Of course. Ooh, this one looks good. Banana I don't know if vanilla? Banana. I don't see a banana on the packaging, no. but it's really it looks yellow. like a banana. And then there's Epic League of Legends or something up there. Yeah. They have a lot less of the greasy TV dinner stuff, but they have a frack ton of hot dogs here. Those are pretty small wieners. That's one single wiener for 12. That was your chance to say, it's not small, it's average. I mean, these are the average. Ah. Uh, a lot of the Asian sauces, of course. We are in Asia. And spices here. It's interesting that it's all McCormick. There's McCormick in the Philippines, too. Um, look at this, little fracker. Great value in Chinese. Great value? McCormick? That is a great value. Thank you, China. Very, Very epic. epic. Lots of ramen. Ritz. They have frackin' Ritz. Four. They usually put that in a box in the U.S., but now it's in a nice bag. Peach Oreos. That's new. Why is this little box half the price of that massive box? I'm confused by that massive box. Maybe it was a bit of a clickbait. Clickbait? They have peach grape mix. Yeah. And raspberry blueberry. Those might be good. All right, get them both. And then also apple and peach Ritz. Uh, cheese. Yeah, I'm confused. This is the type of stuff we get right now. We need one of these weird things. Let's get the double whammy. Uh, this one or this one? They're both probably nasty. Creep is a little interesting. We're in China, peaches. Whoa. A pomegranate looking thing? Yeah. Vanilla. Wow, these are very funky. Hockey. This will be very interesting. Chips Ahoy is different here. We have the uh, M&M ones. Well, the, this box is like protruding out. It's damn, I can't even push it in. Too bad they don't have any weird flavors. Oh, there's a different flavor. Is it Chewy Chips Ahoy with? It's a red. Red is always chewy. I gotta get that. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh, I guess you're getting two. That's their game right there. That's their game. You have to get two. All right, I guess I'm getting two. Goodbye. Oh. That is so much more convenient. If <laughs> We would have missed that. Wait, why are you putting that one back? Whoa, they have Chips Ahoy stuffed right here. These are Chips Ahoy fracking stuff. Oh. These are not in the US. Matcha? Oh my gosh, is this Italy? We'll get the chocolate chip one, why not? We have fruity stuff, oh he's gone, let's go. Hello sir, hello sir. Skippy peanut butter. Yay. Whoa. Look at that. It just says Ameria. But it's like a chocolate pie? Yeah. All right, we're getting this whole thing for 40. Looks more like a cookie inside rather than like a cake. Macaroons. Macaroons only. Oh, what the? Oh, these are interesting. Why is it so? Okay, I got a chocolate one of the Chips Ahoy. So what flavor should we get for this? Nice. Here's your Coke prices, pop prices. Pretty similar to the US, except they have this, and this is incredible. You get a little baby Pepsi with your purchase. I don't know what this is. Just drink it. Ooh, strawberry Coke, peach Coke. There's a lemon Coke right Wait, here. Sunkissed Shake Shake, cool salty lemon jelly soda, and passion fruit Perilla flavor. All right, it's time to get some drinks. Strawberry Coke sounds so interesting. Blue, 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 blue. It's not blue. This is a scam. The drink section. They got some interesting ones. We have new Sprites, new Cokes, new everything. I don't know if it's just like diet Sprite or It's got what. the zero, zero thing on it. So that's always the challenge. Is it diet or not? Like diet, uh, Appleson. Sadly, we can't read anything. <laughs> nope, not at all. It's not just because we're stupid like in Iceland. We are stupid. The chip section, uh, they got a lot of interesting flavors. Avocado, lime, spicy ones. Radioactive material. Fancy Wagyu beef with garlic. Oh, that's gotta taste fantastic. Bacon? It's so pink, it's like raw bacon colored. You forgot to mention the seaweed Roman candle. <laughs> what? Lots of different chips here. They got Cheetos. Oh. 
Whoa, and they're chicken flavored Cheetos. And they have beef ones to your left. We were just saying the corn chips that I tried earlier were like rip off Cheetos. And now they have Cheetos, but they don't have the cheese flavored Cheetos. Oh, wait, they got another version right here. Oh, no, it's the meat. Dang, uh, they don't have normal Cheetos, just weird flavored Cheetos. Now, are you ready for this, sir? Yeah. Hot and sour lemon braised chicken feet flavor. They already have chicken tongue. Italian red meat flavor. Uh -huh. Roasted cumin lamb skewer uh -huh. flavor. We have to get this. Holy nuts, guys. We're gonna have a lot to test after this. Chicken lays. What the heck is this? Squid lays? My gosh. This is what you gotta do when you go to different countries. You gotta try the snacks. Freaking caramel corn, dude. Oh, wait, here. Oh, a Filipino the, classic the for oishi, you. So why is this the one that they have? This is the one oishi thing I don't like. <laughs> Onion rings, never seen these before. Uh-uh. I'm sure oishi has like country specific things that aren't even in the Philippines. They have tomato style hot pot flavor. They have these. I've never these. tried these, but these are like new in the US. The like skinny pop yeah. type thing. I've never tried those. Whoa, look at this. Spiral noodle chips. I don't know what flavor that is. It's angelic flavor. Ooh, this one's a slot machine. You don't know what flavor you're gonna get, potato or meat. Oh, we have more dried snacks and nuts. Some, oh, wow, that looks interesting. Hard boiled egg thing. Oh, yikes. Cannot be good, but uh, you know, you never know. Here you go. Oh, there's small ones. Here. Dual flavor, pickled chicken feet and I don't know what the other one is. Oh, it looks like spicy. Something delicious. That looks atrocious. That was a ballsy move, sir. Great value. Spicy flavor, crispy little yellow croaker. Why the heck don't they have that in Minnesota? Where are the crispy little croakers? We should open a restaurant in Minnesota inside of a Walmart and call it authentic Chinese food. And then it's just all dried little, food. Little croakers. Yep. Here's a comparison. Nacho cheese Doritos, about this size, this much money. It's a little less than a dollar. Usually chips are pretty cheap though. So this might not be that great of a deal. That's a lot of stuff. Let's try it. Lemon coconut marinda. Ooh, I kind of like it, but it's kind of weird. Strawberry co. Ugh, that's pretty tasty. Walmart. All right, everyone comment below. What do you start with first in the morning, sweet or salty? Oh, unanimous decision. Let's go. All right, it was salty. Barbecue flavored Doritos, but they're Pringles? Yeah. Barbecue Dorito Pringle Littles. Okay. Kind of does taste like a skewer, a little bit. No, yeah, not bad. You know, it's a, a skew. I'd give it like a six, four. Six. Probably Chewy Chips Ahoy. Chinese Chips Ahoy with grapes or cherries. What is that? Cranberries? Cranberries? I don't know. Cranberries are for old people. <laughs> It's gotta be chewy if it's this hard to get into the precious fries. Thank you. It's definitely a chewy boy, and you can smell the chemicals from here. Pop it and dop it. Hmm? Uh oh. Why is it so, it's like really chewy. It's like one that will stick to your entire mouth. It has a little less of the chemically taste that the US ones have, actually. It tastes more like a cookie than a chemically created um, sugar circle. 7.8 for that one. Nice. Eight. Possibly our favorite invention ever. I can't read it, it's in Chinese. Holy nuts! Hot and spicy braised duck tongue flavor. Yum! So it's gotta taste exactly like the braised pork, right? Yeah, and the fact that it's a duck tongue doesn't change the flavor of anything. Duck, the weird thing about duck tongue is how it looks, right? It's not about the taste. It looks like a cool claw. Cute. It's okay, I don't really like it to be honest. It's kinda spicy. It's hot and spicy, so it's not just spicy, it's also hot. Oh. I definitely want to eat much more of those. I don't I don't mind this one. It's, I like the spice. It kind of just takes over the whole chip, so it's just kind of like a spicy chip. You get a very mild meat flavor, and um, then just spices. I give that a 
5.2. I'll give it like a 6.5. Fritz. Peach, apple, and maybe cheese? There's an icon of cheese oh, in please here. Please don't be cheese. This one seems like it's apple and cheese. Does that mean there's also peach and cheese in here? Is this thing just... Is that this might be the a peach. same thing? That might be a peach slice. I think so, because peaches have this little cracker in the middle. So it's peach and cheese. Doink. Mmm. Weird. Mmm. Mm mm. -mm. That's pretty, that's pretty funky. It's like if you were to take a Ritz cheese sandwich and spray peach cologne on it. I don't like it at all. I don't know how to feel about that one. I don't even know. It's like that peach flavor is so candy-like. And then to eat it with a buttery, salty cracker is so odd. I don't like it at all. I'd give that like a four. Yeah, I don't think it's very good. I'll give it a four two. A four point two or a four two? 42, actually. Oh, wow, that's mm -hmm. a good score. Mm -hmm. Next up, spicy flavor mm -hmm. Dorito stack stingies. It doesn't pop off like you expect, it kind of bends. See? This one's been the best quality inside, but usually these are absolutely crucial, just oblivion. I think those might have been one of the ones we didn't drop. Ah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> there is no spicy. I mean, it says it's spicy flavor, but then it just shows a bunch of like bell peppers. Yeah. Bell peppers aren't spicy. I like it. But it's not spicy. Kind of disappointed. Um, I'd give that a seven. Well, it's not bad. Pretty mild. I'll give it a seven two. A right. seven two or a seven point two. A seven two oh oh. The more you eat, the spicier it gets, which is nice. There's a tingle. What do we have next on the chopping block? Chopping block. Chopping. Oh, delicious. So if strawberry Coke was good, what about strawberry Oreo cakes? It's got to be good, right? What can you do with Willy Wonka? What can you do? There's only four? Damn. Willy Wonka in the chocolate. All right, you're now Willy Wonka. In the chocolate factory? Yeah, so give me something. Willy, Willy, please give me a chocolate. Hey guys, it's me, Timothy Chalamet. Oh, thank you so much, Willy. I'm Willy Wonka. Where's your British accent, Willy? Oi, bro, I'm Willy Wonka. Thank you, <laughs> Willy. This smells super funky. It smells like a ho-ho, but then there's strawberry smell in there. And the strawberry is like pungent. It almost smells like strawberry socks. I love strawberry socks. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's really soft. I give that a six. I'll give it like a 5-7. Dun 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 dun! <gasps> this is the mysterious one. This has no English of any kind on it. It's just a ball of meat in the corner. Yo, meat ball flavor. Oh gosh. Why is this one so... This one has a really strong smell. Oh, that is not a chip flavor. It's very tomato-y. It really tastes like this vegetable. Whatever this long green thing is, it really... Because when you eat the Chinese food here, that's always in it. And it really tastes like that, and I don't know how. I don't like it much. I don't either. I'd give that a five. No, oh, this is a very um, poor review for these snacks. They're not getting any love. They're very weird, but you know, if people got a funky taste around these parts, good for them. This is much more exciting than barbecue, sour cream and onion, cheddar. The most likely scenario for a 10. An egg thing. Oh gosh, that thing is so wet. I know you love eggs for breakfast, though. So. I don't know how you open it, sir. <laughs> Are you gonna pop it? Is it like coated in a sauce? I don't know, I'm scared. I don't think I'll be able to get this open without a scissors. There's a little indent thing, but I can't grip it. Egg unveiled. Oh, it smells very sweet. What the heck? It smells like a candy. Oh, wow, it's really wet. The outside is really chewy. It's almost like, I don't even know how you describe it, like plastic. Is it your new favorite breakfast? 9.9. .9. So it is your new favorite breakfast. Yep. Candied egg? Yeah, it's really sweet. 9.9. .9. That's what we're repping here. Yeah. That's why I drink some water there, because it's a 9.9. .9. <laughs> to continue the sweetness train, these I have high hopes for. Chips Ahoy filled with chocolate vanilla stuff. How is this Chips Ahoy anymore? I don't know. Oh, these are kind of, these are pretty small. I thought these would be like the Oreo ones. Okay, it's kind of like a macaroon looking cracker. It's like a little bit crunchy. Oh yeah, it's, I thought it'd be soft. And then the inside's a bit mushy, like the middle. Dang it. Mmm. Oh, there's not much in there. I like it. Clearly it's blowing us away. Clearly our expectations were met. 7.7. <laughs> 7.5. Point point taro chip, I believe. 
Oh wow, that is different they're, shapes. They're much larger. Looks like these were just shaved right off of a taro. It's pretty good, large. Let's try it. Mmm. The pepper is an interesting choice on these. I like those. It's like not even salt, there's just pepper. Those are good. Those are definitely some of the better ones. That's my favorite thing we've eaten so far. 8.5. I think we've seen this in other countries, right? We've seen some sort of taro chip. I don't remember if it was Lay's or not. Yeah, these are pretty good. They're kind of like the cassava chips in the Philippines and Southeast Asia. I don't even know how you describe this texture. It's crunchy, but it's not as crunchy as a potato chip. They kind of squish a little bit. They kind of have a little bounce. Let's give it an 8.5. We got mandarin oranges in the country of mandarin oranges. There's already a hole, so. This is the first time we ever got anything healthy on one of these taste tests. Mandarin oranges in the US usually come in a can. So how are they gonna be without the can? Okay. Pop it and dop it. Mmm. Juicy. Sweet. Sweetie. So what the heck's the difference between this and a tangerine? Just one just comes from China? Oh, there's literally exactly the same. Yeah, I'm not sure, but they're really delicious. <laughs> they I don't think they're the right ripeness that I prefer. They're not like super sweet. There's like there's like a perfect time to eat these and I still don't know what it is. I like when it's pretty sweet and a little sour. I'd give that a nine. We'll give this a, an orange out of apple. We can take that how you will. That one's that one's up to <laughs> very uh, wide range of opinions. <laughs> Peach grape Oreos. Can this be good? Is it even possible? Probably not. Oh, nuts. Well, half of it's pink, half of it's Ooh, green. It smells weird. Okay. It smells again, like sort of like a cologne. It smells like a grape Fanta. That's what it smells like. I hope it tastes exactly like that. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Uh huh. That is. Oh. Oh no. That's interesting. It gives me chills. I don't like that at all. It's not too bad. It doesn't work with the Oreo cookie for me at all. It's a little weird. I don't think the cream is that strong. The Oreo cookie really is the main flavor I get, so it's not too bad for me. I just need some milk, just to add another flavor in there. I would give that a. 3.9. Oh, no, guys. I'll give it like a 5, 8. I could probably eat this. Now we're gonna see what Doritos are like here. We got some dark orange here. There, and usually when it's real cheese, it's a light orange, and these are super dark. This is like US Doritos. Holy nuts. This might taste exactly the same. Nope. A little spicier. And you can really get that corn flavor in there. The cheese isn't drowning out the corn. Yeah, but it tastes more like a real corn chip than American Doritos. I really like that. Ooh, I like the spice at the end. It kind of has like a spicy nacho cheese feel instead of just cheese. 7.9. 8.1. Now continuing the train. Cheetos. They are chicken flavored Cheetos. Oh, they're chicken flavored Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have basic Cheetos. I forgot about that. Chicken Cheetos are in my heart. I don't know if these are gonna be good. But they're Cheetos. This is also these are pretty small. I don't eat Cheetos very often. Wow, look at that. Nice and large. We got almost nothing from that. It's like a sweet chicken. Pretty good. It doesn't taste like chicken to me, it just tastes like salt. I'd give that a 6.9. I'll give it a nice seven. Seven. The finale to end us off here is a sun-kissed shake shake cool salty lemon jelly soda. I'm guessing the salt is really gonna make this. I don't know what it says exactly, but it says 10 and shake. So shake for 10 seconds. Why is it salty? I really hope it's not gonna burst out everywhere. I hope it does, here we go. It did it. <laughs> it is carbonated. This is some magic they got going on here. You can shake it, but it not explode. It kinda smells like Sprite. I didn't get any jelly. It just kinda tastes like Sierra Mist. <laughs> mm. Mm. Did you get a jelly? That is weird. So the jelly in the drink basically turns it into like a goopy drink. I don't know how to describe it. It's like when you're slurping your milk tea and you get the grass jelly in there and suddenly like, but it's like a, more of a spit-like yeah. substance than that. It's like somebody went right into your sun kiss. I, I would have given it a, an eight until you said that, and now I don't enjoy it as much. Literally tastes like a serum mist with uh, some somebody snag in there. <laughs> no, <laughs> my my rating is going down. <laughs> Six point five. 
yellow mochi. I don't know what yellow means, but it's yellow. Kind of looks like there's an, it wouldn't surprise me if it was like <laughs> egg inside. <laughs> Ours are the same shape and here's just a, here's just a rectangle. Ooh. I thought I knew what the flavor was right away and then I lost it. Is it just mango? I think so. Mine just tastes like rice now. This just has a little circle of the flavor. It was very satisfying. I'll give that an eight. I think the cold mochi with ice cream inside is like a nine for me. Yeah, I think these ones are, like the dry ones are like an eight for me too. And that is all the snacks we got at Walmart in China. There's so many things to get. We didn't get any like bakery items or a squab or anything. There's a lot. There's a so much bread and so many dried and candied meats. I'm sure we would have loved the candy meats. Oh yeah, so much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you could, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's just something that we thought would be interesting to see a institution, a critical institution in the US, Walmart. It's a very interesting place and China has been really cool. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos. Let us know if there's some other things or comparisons to the US that you would like to see down in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video. We got lots more China to come. Bye.